Okay, well now we're going to look at a, a somewhat different situation where our independent variable is no longer time, but it's some quantity. Uh, it could be temperature, it could be um, an index of El Nino, uh, the North Atlantic Oscillation Index. Um, so uh, let, let's look at an example of that sort. Um, we are going to now look at the relationship between El Nino and December temperatures in State College, Pennsylvania. And we can plot out that relationship as a scatter plot. So on the vertical axis, we have December temperature in State College. On the horizontal axis, our independent variable is the uh, Nino 3.4 index. Um, negative values indicating La Niña's, positive values indicating El Nino's. And the strength of the relationship between the two is going to be uh, determined by the trend line that describes how winter temperatures in State College, December temperatures in State College, depend on El Nino. And so by fitting the regression, uh, we obtain a slope of 0.7397. Um, that means for each unit change in El Nino, in Nino 3.4, we get a 0.74 unit change in temperature. So for a moderate, uh, moderate El Nino event uh, where the Nino 3.4 index is in the range of plus 1, that would imply uh, December temperatures in State College that year are 0.74 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, is the scale here. 0.74 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than usual, and for a modestly strong La Nina, where the Nino 3.4 is on the order of minus 1 or so, uh, State College December temperatures would be about 0.74 degrees colder than normal. Now, the correlation coefficient associated with that linear regression in this case is 0.174. Now we have um, 107 years here. Our data set, um, as before, goes from 1888 to 1994. Um, so that's 107 years. We've got a correlation coefficient of 0.174. So if we use our uh, table, and uh, we take n equal 0.107, r of 0.174, uh, we find that the one-tailed uh, value of p is 0.0365, uh, the two-tailed value is 0.073. So if our threshold for significance were p of 0.05, the 95% significance level, then that relationship, correlation coefficient of 0.174 with 107 years of uh, information would be significant uh, for a one-tailed test, but it would not pass the 0.05, the 95% significance threshold for a two-tailed test. So we have to ask uh, the question, uh, which is more appropriate here, um, a one-tailed test or a two-tailed test? Now, if you had reason to believe that El Nino events warm the northeastern U.S., for example, then you might motivate a one-tailed test since only a positive relationship would be consistent with your expectations. But if we didn't know beforehand whether El Ninos had a cooling influence or a warming influence on the northeastern U.S., uh, you might argue for a two-tailed uh, test. Um, so uh, whether or not the relationship is significant at the p equal 0.05 level is going to depend on which type of hypothesis test uh, we're able to motivate in this case.